um before mm-hmm. we before we hit the road here or maybe we can squeeze in a couple more here um so biggest um daily biggest one day seizure in Toronto police history crazy okay 65 guns more than um 106 kilos of yayo uh or coke right 65 kilos of yeah. fentanyl and it was like uh, 1.8 million dollars in total in one bust in one guy's apartment one person how does that even make sense white guy by the way no and I, okay uh, this is the reason why i want to throw uh, yeah, that in there that's, uh, okay because there's so much of the bust that have been happening in the city where it's like they're taking out these organizations and these gangs, these gangs, these gangs. And then they come into this one guy's yard who's got the whole barrage for the whole of fucking Canada. <laughs> yeah. And he's some white guy. The man's pretty much what is it, facilitating the Toronto gangs. I don't want to yeah. I don't want to put that assumption out there, but Jesus Christ. Hey, listen. When they get to the yeah, top. that could have been a set. That could have been a setup or something. Because why would you have that much stuff? Like, unless you're just a house sitter, why would you have all of that in one house? They said it was in plain sense. sight. They said all the like the burners were all in plain sight, and he was just like chilling on the couch. Maybe, you know, maybe it was a was it a sting or something? And they thought he he was about to. I don't know. I I, I, I heard the story, but I didn't hear the details. But like that just sounds fishy. Like I could. Like you don't never keep all you know they say don't keep all your eggs in one basket like <laughs> this guy had the whole chicken in there. I don't want to bait out what happened. I don't I don't want to bait out what happened because well you know what, what is happened. what what is said in the news report? Well I don't know. Well, fam, whoever they everybody just said yo let's go pack up and go drop the things at homie's house. <laughs> yo, yeah, you know we're gonna yeah, we're gonna yeah. switch we're gonna, exact, yeah. we're gonna switch up. And Something's not they, right. They with took that too story. long. They took too long. They everybody came in with a bunch of bags. People are seeing it like, yo, what the hell is going on there? You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's exactly what happened. Well, they said mm. in a news report that most of the guns that they found in the on the location were like all pipeline from like Florida or some shit like that. Yeah. So see, and the thing is, is that and it's crazy. You said it was at a, like a white guy's house. It was mm-hmm. where they found it all. I forget his name, but they popped his name up on the news and everything too. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, where, where did they say what part of Toronto it was in? It was like in the Etobicoke, west the west, like yeah. a, a like in like a decent residential area. Or yeah, in yeah, like... yeah, 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 yeah. It was like it wasn't in the worst. Like it wasn't like a big gang or so gang oriented area. It was like yeah. See, it, it, that's the funny thing is because it's it it that's that or maybe see maybe it wasn't because that's usually where all this the, the big comes in there unassuming place. No one's gonna go white picket fence or the dog and uh well it wasn't one know, of those type of and... neighborhoods. It was like still oh, like okay. a middle class neighborhood, but it wasn't like a gang associated type of neighborhood. Like the they were saying oh, okay. the neighbors were saying, like, wow, like this nothing this like this ever happens, happens over here. here. Yeah, this guy is pretty cool. Yeah, guy. He yeah. pays his rent on time. Yeah, we like him. And you never know, this guy has a million dollars in his house and fentanyl and coke and guns and everything going <laughs> on. Yeah, that's that's crazy, you know, but it, it happens. I was watching, it's funny when I watch some shows and, you know, there's, I've been going through Netflix so much because I've just been in the house. Sometimes there's nothing to watch. So I'll just watch like some documentary on YouTube. And mm. there's a lot of the, a lot of documentaries talking about like the drug trade and the Montreal mafia and, you know, like, and they will talk about the, the uh, Asian gangs. Like they're talking about the two, like they have all these things. And it, the funniest part about it is just that it's, uh, it happens. Like, you know, you just, and then when things happen, like when you see like in Yorkdale, like this one guy comes in and shoots this one guy, one guy twice in the head and leaves. Mm. And then, you know, and they say at some fancy restaurant, you know, that's a hit. Yeah, that's like a straight hit. Because if that was a, if that was like some street stuff, I don't know, just I don't know. The guy would be holding his gun sideways and he wouldn't have aim. <laughs> and someone would get like sprayed by accident or something like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then you, but then you know what? you never hear about it again. Mm-hmm. Like you hear it maybe for a first couple of days and then you hear like the name might have like, you know, an Italian name or, or uh, some, you know, some type of Russian name or something like that. And then you hear about it for a couple of days and then you have to search for the story yeah. afterwards. So maybe this will be the one, or maybe it was just too much 
for them to ignore, like to be like 65 guns. It's like, bro, bro, like, yeah, it's just way too much. We got to talk about this. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, uh, we're, we're talking. Find about someone it. to go under the bus. Yeah, we got to talk about this because where are we going to hide it? You can't say it's just like a little this and a little that. It's like, yeah, we need a truck. We need a U-Haul. There's cameras outside. Yeah. Somebody, we got to be taking somebody in cuffs. So unless you get somebody else here, you're going to have to be the person that we're taking away or something like that. Sometimes it's just <laughs> craziness like that or something like that. But that's crazy. Yeah, it, but it happens. There's people that have that stuff in their house all the time. There's a little stash house. It's just crazy. They had so much in one house. That's the biggest daily, biggest one-day seizure they said in Toronto history. So we'll, we'll keep Someone's up. getting in trouble. Someone's in trouble for that loss. I could tell you that. Someone's getting in trouble for that. They got it arrested. Well, we'll <laughs> we'll definitely keep everybody updated on what's going on. I guess, like as as it unfolds, because I'm sure this is not going to be the last the last story on this. 